These days getting a device for a second attempt or even a third attempt is not a very uh, rare occurrence. We get these devices all the time, more so with the uh, hard drives that haven't been successfully recovered. But flash drives and memory cards also come in that been attempted to be repaired or recovered but it was not successful. Today is not an exception and I'm working on a flash drive that seemed to have a simple problem related to a broken connector that quickly uh, due to lack of experience, knowledge or maybe even proper tools grew into something much much more uh, serious uh, because things just did not go right. Uh, I ended up spending a lot of time on this case, a lot more than I expected, not to cut any corners, not to risk losing any data, you gotta take all the precautionary measures and most importantly you gotta know what you're doing. This, if, this probably could have been uh, less than a five minute repair if it ended up in the right hands. Watch it, let me know what you think and if you have any questions drop them in the comments below. Oh yeah guys before I forget I wanted to add this piece to the video. Those who follow me often I'm gonna post a link in the description of this box and uh, I'm asking you all for a favor. There is a YouTube channel uh, that I'm following and uh, they just lost data on the hard drive saying that there's about five months of footage on there. I really would like to help them, but uh, I checked the video where they uh, explained the problem. There was like almost 3,000 comments. I would kindly ask you if you have a second, click the link in the description, find my comment underneath their video and hit thumbs up on it so that it will be bumping it up. The more likes it's gonna get, the higher the chances it's gonna be more visible to them. Maybe we can make a video about that and help them out. All right, looks like uh, somebody put this, uh these uh, wires to link damaged pads to um, already damaged connector part but first let me um, have a look at the solder job that was performed here so um, first things first we need to s inspect the traces right um, I'm also worried about uh, this stuff right here that's not supposed to be jumped but it is jumped so we got some we got some work to do guys components sitting sideways from the looks of it it's a blown three volt resistor i'll add a little flux and clean up the headers on the controller first i'm gonna need this and then we'll deal with the connector I'll be using these tweezers. Yeah, that that resistor is probably blown. Luckily for us, this three in three point three volt resistor is can be located on almost every flash drive, and uh, there's one of them, for example, right here. If we measure this working one, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the old one, and I'll swap it with this good one. To remove the jumped uh, header, hopefully it's not totally fried now. Um, I would use this flat blade tip. It's quickly became one of my favorite, not one of my favorite, but actually my favorite tip to work with if you don't have a tip like this for your uh, precision uh, JBC or similar handle uh, definitely check the description I'm gonna put some links in there to, to get that because it's a must-have so this is the same wire that goes all the way from there we don't need to connect it here because it's just gonna end up being damaged at this break so I'll, instead I'll just clean the spot right here 
for this for the uh, for this pad and I'm gonna clean a spot right here for this pad at the end um, now this is the area that a little bit is concerning uh, let's have a look let's have a closer look at it and find out how bad the damage is still nothing to really worry about but the fact that uh, this power pin is going through this vehicle right there tells us that it's coming out on the other end the problem is it's underneath this blob so we would want to get attached to this leftover so we've got a connector that has has these two pins and the board used to have something in there for them but not anymore but what can we do we're gonna make those holes opened up again by using some wick and a tweezer fixing somebody's mess guys is part of the game you you need to really sometimes get dirty with it because undoing somebody's failures is usually more challenging than fixing the failures but hey somebody has to learn somehow right all right so we got the shrapnel out of there now we can just slide the connector in place see how nice it looks with a new connector in there almost looks original so I'm gonna just uh, go ahead and uh, secure and pre tin some things All right, so the tinning is done. Uh, with that in mind, I'm gonna grab this fine wire. I think it's like a 31 gauge. All right, so that's our power pin. I know it's um, connected, but just to make sure it's connected, I want to probe it from the header to the to the joint, and it's good. It's beeping, so it's connected. I think it's finished. Just a few things out. So we have this set to test mode. So all of the capacitors are in short. So we could potentially have a problem with this um, controller, guys, fairly easily. So six, nine, eight, nine. So if we remove this con controller right now and all the shorts from capacitors go away, that's going to be the source of the problem.
Yeah, so these capacitors are good. The controller was not good. Um, what can we do? I, I have a box full of Alcor controllers. We can try and throw one on there. Well, what do you know? This didn't even take me a minute. <laughs> and uh, look what I have found. I'm not sure if that's gonna be the exact same um, unit. Like, circuit-wise, it does look very similar uh, in its arrangement. And the problem-wise, it looks really similar also. But uh, it does have a little bit more components to it. But overall, the wiring seems to be uh, the same. Two things to do. Uh, number one is that we can swap the controller over if this device works. So let's find out if it works or not. If this works, we will see a unit uh, give ID on this segment here. And it does. 8 gigs, generic, project mounted. If we, you see we don't see it here right now. If we refresh our screen, we get this generic flash drive, 8 gigs. We have data access. So this is working. If it's working, we have two options. So number one, is we can repair our failed unit by swapping the controller that is deemed to be functional onto a device that's non-functional. Aside from that controller, I really don't see a problem with our original device at this point. But uh, what are the risks? We always have to evaluate your risks. The risks are is that if this controller is programmed slightly differently or something like that, if we get unlucky, <laughs> it could potentially kill the data on the original unit, right? So before we jump into uh, swapping anything out for the integrity of the data and making sure that the customer uh, does not become a victim of attempts, uh, we have to take all the precautionary measures. So in order to do that, we can go on Google and we can search for the pinout schematic of the AU6989 controller. So here is the schematic that we're going to use. Okay, that way, the power I'm going to grab thicker wires. We need right enable. It's right here. Okay, that's, um, that's it, that's all for the signals. And for the power and ground, I'm just gonna use thicker wire. Now we just gotta check if we have a short in uh, the ground and power. Plane before we plug it in. Let's see. So, no, we don't. We have RB right here, and the pin one is here. And instead, I had RB wired to this. Well, and then the rest was going the opposite direction. So this is our RB line.
I'm gonna open up our studio and deep spark. Power up. We get the capacity come up and the project. Um, so now we're gonna refresh this, refresh, and we're gonna see that this is going to change to a 1.9. And if we go into hex view, we can see that we actually are able to read the data. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, clone it <laughs> first. To such a small device I'm just gonna create an a byte by byte image right here image process is now complete and there are our Excel spreadsheets guys open up one of these files just to test voila everything is good now we're going to generate the file list for that client and get that report sent out. So if you guys lost your data on an, any type of uh, digital media device, hit us up, link in description. Thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions, drop them in the comments below as always guys. And I will see you all in the next episode. Stay tuned.